Welcome back to the Smugsy Show. I'm Smugsy, your host, currently identifying as the Barstool Cougar, formerly known as the ex-token intellectual of the Kirk Minahan Show. No news is good news as far as Kirk Minahan goes. It hasn't been 14 days since the Sacco Show when hordes of minifans gathered in Sacco in complete and blatant violation of all social distancing protocols and um, had a big old love fest for eight hours or so. Um, so uh, we'll know on August 9th, that'll be 14 days from the event, whether or not there's been a massive outbreak of COVID among many fans. But so far, the only I saw two things. One, Steve Robinson said in a brief update show that he was sick and he sounded sick and had been kicked out of his apartment, but that could mean a lot of things. Uh, and there was one minifan online who made reference to having uncontrollable diarrhea. Um, so let's keep our fingers crossed. Um, if there's no major COVID outbreak, I would expect Kirk to make a comeback sometime after Sunday, August 9th. So in the meantime, and going forward, I'm identifying as the Barstool Cougar. And, um, you know, prior to being the Cougar, I was the token intellectual, then ex-token intellectual of the Kirk Minahan show, as I mentioned in the intro. But even before that, Smugsy, the personality, the character, um, was Kirk's, everyone's favorite cousin. That was the initial Smugsy personality. And so... Um, Smugsy now is the Barstool Cougar, and, and she's making kind of a pitch to have a, a seat at the table in the Barstool, you know, Barstool world, because her, her argument, my argument, you know, as the Barstool Cougar, Smugsy, is that it's a time real change needs to be made, and there needs to be diversity of voices, and... Um, why not have a barstool cougar to kind of, you know, just throw a little perspective. For instance, this week, Erica Nardini, the CEO of Barstool, as you all know, interviewed little Sasquatch, okay, an adorable young man, I mean, just adorable, and little Sasquatch was recounting the story of getting the offer to work at Barstool and how it's going to mean for him moving to New York City, which is exciting. Um, and he was saying that his move will, in his mind, kind of free up some creativity because he's been making these TikTok videos um, in his parents' house, you know, with his mother basically on the other side of the wall. So he feels that like once he, you know, gets his own place, he's just, you know, going to be a little bit less inhibited. So, so a little slot squatch. Um, just imagine for a moment that like the parents, you know, imagine. It, a couple of parents. They're married. They raised their kids. Um, they launched the kids. The kids got through college. They, they're killing it. You know, they, they've got good jobs. They've got good values. They've been out on their own, living in their own apartments until COVID. And during the time that they were launched and, and living independently, you know, the parents sort of reconnected with that, I don't know, that junior in college, senior in college person that they had been and relax and spend time with friends and, you know, have a few cocktails and maybe, you know, partake in some medical marijuana um, rituals with some of the neighbors, you know, with, again, just some playlists and some, you know, some fires and some grooving, you know, and just connecting and eating and drinking and talking, laughing, having a a life of the mind and and no kids around right so there's this freedom and just this explosive creativity you know I mean people are writing songs and making things out of clay um, you know making videos on YouTube um, and then all of a sudden the kids are home and they're like the warden 
that's what it's like for some people. They're having their, their grown children living at home. It's like, it's kind of like having the warden around, like, you know, giving you the stink eye, like if you have, um, you know, a couple of martinis, um, really kind of um, virtue signaling about just, you know, just about everything. You know, you're not doing your push-ups right. You know, I can't believe you eat that for breakfast. Um, you know, um, I'm only a, whatever, a vegan. Um, so the cougars are the ones who are like, um, they're looking forward to Lil Slot Squatch moving out so that they can go back to their life. So that's just kind of a little perspective that um, I think the cougar, so in other words, diversify the portfolio of personalities at Barstool to increase the revenue and improve the brand, really broaden the audience. That's Smugsy's goal as the Barstool Cougar, but you know, I was thinking before I launched this huge campaign, I think there's an existential question that really needs to be answered, and I'm, um, I'm hoping you're going to help me kind of process this. The question is, does a Barstool Cougar have to be a cat person? Because, because I'm, not a, I'm not a cat person. Smugsy is not a cat person. Um, she doesn't hate cats, but she kind of hates cats. And, you know, cat people are, you know, fine. She doesn't, they usually annoy her. And um, she respects them. It's almost like a partisan thing. It's almost as if Republicans are cat people and Democrats are dog people. I'm not sure about that. But... You know, so Smugsy is supposed to a cougar. Um, does it does it have to be that she's a cat person? I hope not, because I think, you know, I I think I'm an excellent Barstool cougar, despite the fact that I am a dog person. True, I was born a dog person. Okay, I'm happy being a dog person. I don't want to make any changes. I don't need to be convinced about how great cats are. I just, you know, I just know what I like, and I like dogs. So, um, go please go to at Smugsy Girl on Twitter and take the poll and let me know, just does the Barstool Cougar have to like cats? And I guess the main thing for me is if Big Cat isn't a cat person, then basically I think Smugsy's in the clear because, you know, like Big Cat on, you know, on Barstool, if, if he is a dog person, then it seems to me that the Barstool Cougar could be a dog person. Because why would you treat you know her any differently just because she's a woman? I don't think so. I mean, come on. So, big cat, like, just answer. You know, I wouldn't mind. You know, just answer the question. Are you are you a cat person? And don't be ashamed. Um, I tried to go online and find out, but I you know I didn't. I, I think it's something you haven't really spoken openly about, and maybe it's time. So. Um, so go to at Smugsy Girl on Twitter, please um, weigh in, vote. Does the Barstool Cougar need to be a cat person? And and just keep in mind that like unless things change, um, Wednesdays are going to be like cougar. You know, Wednesdays are for cougars. Is I think is might be might be something we're going to launch soon. So just keep that in mind in your calendar. Wednesdays. So. This is Smugsy, um, identifying as the Barstool Cougar, formerly the ex-token intellectual recruitment hand show. And until next time, signing off.